Good morning. I've uh, bought a couple of scissor jacks for my uh, bullet uh, travel trailer. And originally I just bought a uh, scissor jack uh, for lifting the axle in case I had to change a flat tire. But then I thought, you know what, we're going to be doing a little bit of camping in uh, you know, some out-of-the-way places and uh, I may need to level the trailer out. So I thought, you know, I'll use the uh, scissor jack to level the trailer out and then use the uh, outrigger uh, leveling jacks on the trailer to hold it there. So rather than using the, uh, the crank that came with the scissor jack, I decided uh, that I would make one uh, that you could operate with uh, an impact like this DeWalt that's got the uh, Camco 3 quarter inch um, scissor jack socket with the quarter inch disconnect. So I'm going to make a socket that actually works on the scissor jacks. So to do that, uh, I've got some uh, one inch solid round here and I've got uh, some pipe with one and one sixteenth inch ID. So what I'm going to do is take this piece of one inch solid, cut a slot in it so it fits over here and then I will weld it into the center of this pipe and the pipe will sit up on there and I'm going to use I'll drill a hole in the center of this and either weld or braze the quarter inch uh, quick connect that goes into the impact we'll uh, see how that goes I'm going to do some measuring here and uh, do some drilling and we'll bring you back once I'm set up to do that. So I finished cutting the uh, slot in the one inch round stock. Use an angle grinder to do that. And there's the uh, hole in the other end. That's where that's going to fit down and I'll cut it off. I think what I'm going to do is end up uh, brazing this in with brass and then this here, uh, when I weld it in there, uh, I'll use the arc welder for that. So this fits in there like that. And we'll turn that up or down. So next, I'm going to cut this length, do some figuring on that. Uh, braise this in here. And then arc weld the two of these together. reason for this pipe is so that it goes up and sits on that and centers itself. I'll come back... Uh, Show you some uh, brazing and welding. Just finishing off the welding here uh, with the stainless steel rod. I tacked this side and put two tacks on the uh, inside and now we'll just finish this off.
call that done. I'll do some cleanup here and uh, see what it looks like when we're finished. There it's all welded up. Got a couple tacks in the bottom there. Weld it on top. See how it works. pretty good. Give her a try under the trailer. Well, I thought this might have happened. Um, either the uh, original quarter inch uh, quick connect shank wasn't strong enough or I weakened it during the uh, brazing or welding operation. But after about oh, 30 seconds of uh, running the jack, the uh, end of the shank broke off right at the narrow interlock part. So now it's time for plan B. So here we are with plan B. After the uh, failure of the, uh, um, the weld and the twisting off of the uh, a quarter inch uh, drive that I braised in there, I've uh, ground that off. I've got a, a 32 millimeter socket that's going to fit on top of there. I'm going to weld the two together and I'm going to use that uh, half inch drive uh, impact attachment uh, to run it. I've already, uh, I've already used this with a socket to run the uh, scissor jacks so I know that this is strong enough it's not going to twist off or at least I think it is so we'll go and uh, weld these together and then uh, once I'm finished show you how it works Okay, we're all set up to uh, weld the socket to my uh, pipe there I'm using a stainless steel rod and it looks like I'm going to be doing about 80 amps here uh, on, an, on an AC, uh, not a DC feed. So we'll uh, come back and show you what it looks like once we get her done up. So it's all welded up. Didn't take long. Ready to go with it. And we'll go out and give it a try on uh, one of those yellow scissor jacks. Hey, here we go. I'm going to give this a try. We're out under the trailer. See how much it takes to lift her up.
There we go. About two inches off the ground. Not bad. And she's holding up. There we go. Ready for next spring. That's all.